Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another cooking video. Not calling it Foodie Fridays today because it is Saturday and I'm super stoked to announce that this is an awesome collab video. We're calling it the Magic Hat Collab because we pulled out different types of cuisine to be able to cook out of a hat. And this is a collab with some awesome keto fam YouTubers here that you've got to go and check out. If you're not subscribed to them, I don't know what you were doing. You need to go and sub to them right after you watch this video. So thank you so much to Keto Ginja. She is the one who orchestrated this collab. So thank you to her and definitely go and check her out. You're going to love her recipes. They are so awesome. The amazing Logan Sneed. Guys, if you're not following him again, what are you waiting for? Go and check him out. Watch Autumn Keto. She's awesome. Jordan So Keto is amazing. And last but not least, Goody Beats himself. Like what? This is such a epic collab as far as food goes and people. I'm so excited and honored to be a part of this Keto fam. So definitely go and check everybody out in the description box down below and go see what amazing foods they picked out of a hat and what recipes they have up their sleeve. So I picked Italian and I'm so happy because so many of y'all were like, Nicole, I need crock pot recipes in my life. I need them too, y'all, because work is about to start back and mama doesn't have time to do all this keto prep from scratch. So I need something I can dump and go that's delicious and within our macros and ingredients. So I am making pizza chicken in the crock pot. First off, we said chicken and we said pizza. Two great combinations right there. So excited to bring this to you. And I really wanted to make this for the boys. And if you follow me on Instagram, I had Waylon eat this and he tore it up, y'all. So it is kid friendly. He loves it. He ate chicken pretty much for the first time and he has been devouring it and now is a chicken lover. And you can just say that chicken's on the menu all next week. So the ingredients you're going to need is obviously some chicken. You can use chicken thighs if you want to go a more fattier route if you're on keto. I just went in with some chicken breast and I did about a pound and a half. I probably really should have went with two pounds to feed the entire fam. 15 ounces of diced tomatoes, two tablespoons of Italian seasoning. You're gonna need some pepperoni. I use big wide slices from Applegate to cover the entire chicken. Salt and pepper, and then you're gonna need a cup of mozzarella shredded cheese, or I used sliced cheese, again, for the convenience, but I would definitely recommend the shredded kind versus the slice. And I also used a little bit of Tony Sachery's, which is a Cajun spice here where I live. So let's get into this super easy crock pot, dump and go, keto-friendly meal. Work it, make it, do it, makes us harder, better, faster, stronger. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add my 15 ounces of my diced tomatoes. As you can see, I'm showing you the macros here. This is one of the least carby diced tomatoes I can find. It doesn't have any added sugars. It's all natural sugars coming from the tomatoes itself. You're gonna dump that at the bottom of the pan or the crock pot, and then you're gonna add your chicken on top of that and just nestle it on top of those juicy tomatoes. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to sprinkle my chicken with all my seasoning. So I'm gonna go in with my Himalayan pink sauce Salt here. I'm going to go in with my pepper. Y'all know I'm obsessed with pepper, so I actually didn't even show y'all the entire me adding pepper here because it would have been like three minutes long with pepper. Then I'm going in with my Cajun spice. We love using the Tony Sacheries here, and I'm just generously sprinkling some on the top. Waylon, my youngest, had no issues with that being spicy, so that was awesome. And then I'm going to add my Italian seasoning. The original recipe called for two tablespoons. I thought that was probably too much, so if you're going to watch, I use a whole tablespoon here, and then I go in with probably a quarter of a teaspoon afterwards and that was enough and Waylon actually really enjoyed the spice of the Italian seasoning on top he just ate it like that I mean honest with y'all he didn't eat the pepperoni or the cheese just the chicken what now I'm gonna go in with this Applegate uncured pepperoni these are huge slices you could use regular ones too just note that you'll have to use a lot of little slices but these are perfect for covering the entire surface of the chicken and I did not use a whole pack probably half a pack of this pepperoni if that was enough to cover the entire surface of the chicken here. And I even went in with some extra slices. Now I'm gonna go in with my mozzarella sliced cheese. Again, I recommend actually shredding your mozzarella because it's gonna come out more cheesy and melty, if that makes sense. This kinda had a little bit of the crispiness around the edges. I know some people like that. I don't mind it, but I like the shredded better. I just think it melts up better than the slice. But again, I was in a hurry and a pinch, and I know all of us working moms and dads are just moms, dads in general, always looking for something quick and easy when you got kiddos waiting impatiently to eat. So it's a good option if you don't wanna shred up your own mozzarella. 
I'm gonna be cooking mine on high for exactly two hours and it came out perfect. It was so juicy. Here's the final product, so moist and delicious. I actually uh, took a little chunk out of there as you saw to see and make sure that it was finished. And then I'm going back in and sprinkling it with some more Italian seasoning. So this is the final product of the pizza chicken. So delicious, so easy, minimal ingredients, kid friendly, keto friendly. I mean, you just have a win-win all the way around. I'm serving mine with some air fryer asparagus that I just drizzled with some avocado oil and some Parmesan cheese. And you just air fry that up and have a great side with your pizza chicken. So thank you so much for watching guys. Y'all give this video a big thumbs up. If you look forward to these recipes on my channel, if you are looking forward to crock pot videos, if you want to see more crock pot videos, slow cooker videos, leave that down in the comments below and let me know what kind of low carb or keto friendly recipes y'all are waiting for from me. I would be appreciative to know that. If you make this, please go and tag me on Instagram in your stories or in your feed so I can repost it and definitely see your creations in the kitchen. I love to see when y'all do that. Don't forget y'all, this is the Magic Hat collab. Go and check out all these amazing Keto Fam YouTubers. You are not going to regret going over there and checking out their videos and make sure to hit those subscribe buttons when you go over there and show them some love and tell them that Nicole sent you leave some kind of like meat emoji and say Nicole sent me so they know that you came over from my channel and if you're coming over from one of their channels y'all welcome so much to my channel I hope you'll stick around and hit that subscribe button and click all those notifications from me I do all kinds of keto stuff here on my channel and I'd love to have you a part of the keto fam y'all have an amazing weekend y'all I'm trying to stay dry we've got this tropical storm coming through where I live so enjoy and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye y'all.